Welcome to the Breaking News Show by eTurbo News. For more episodes, go to breakingnewsshow.com. Stay tuned for the latest. Nigerian President, Violent Protests Must Stop Now Nigeria is currently experiencing its most severe cost-of-living crisis in almost three decades. In a nationwide televised address, President Bola Tinubu of Nigeria has urged for an end to widespread protests against economic difficulties in the West African country, referencing the violent confrontations that occurred during demonstrations the previous week. Nigerians have started protests last Thursday over the high cost of living and perceived poor governance, presenting various requests such as lowering gasoline prices and electricity tariffs. Nigeria is currently experiencing its most severe cost-of-living crisis in almost three decades, following the removal of a controversial fuel subsidy by Tinubu, who implemented other reforms upon assuming office in May of last year. In June, the country's inflation rate reached 34.19 percent, with food inflation surpassing 40 percent, as reported by the National Bureau of Statistics. Dear citizens of Nigeria, particularly the younger generation, I acknowledge your voices and concerns. I empathize with the emotions fueling these demonstrations, and I wish to affirm that our administration is dedicated to actively engaging with and resolving the issues raised, stated Tinubu. The head of Africa's most populous nation asserted that his administration will not passively observe while a small group with a distinct political agenda seeks to divide the country. Although, the president added that his administration would prefer a dialogue as a means of addressing the issues raised by the protesters. Amnesty International reports that a minimum of 13 individuals have lost their lives in confrontations with law enforcement since the commencement of the countrywide protests, which are set to continue for a duration of 10 days. The Nigeria police force has refuted these claims, asserting that seven fatalities have been verified in various incidents that did not entail the disproportionate use of force by police personnel. According to a statement released by police spokesperson, four people lost their lives in an explosion believed to be orchestrated by Boko Haram militants during a demonstration in northeast Borno State. Two individuals were struck by a vehicle, while another was shot by a security guard as demonstrators ransacked a store in Kebi State. After hours movement restrictions have also been enforced in five states in the northern region, such as Borno, Jigawa, Kano, and Yobe, following allegations by local officials of vandalism and theft of government and public assets. The latest official data indicates that over 680 people have been apprehended as of the weekend. Meanwhile, President Tinubu justified his austerity reforms as essential for increasing revenue and attracting foreign investment, and claimed that Nigerian economy is recovering. Thank you for listening. Watch and listen to more episodes on BreakingNewsShow.com.